In this video, I get a rude awakening whilst out stealth van camping in the woods. Cars just pulled up and it sounds like they're walking around the van. And whilst this was scary enough, they tried to lock me inside my own van. I just really don't understand why someone would try to imprison me in my own van. But before we get to that, let's find somewhere to park up. Welcome to the woods. I mean, I am parked on the side of the road. I have parked across from a bit of a clearing. After last week's video, where I had a little bit of aggro, I decided this week I'm just gonna come out in the middle of nowhere so that I can have a little bit of downtime. And looking at it, it looks fine at the moment, but as soon as the sun starts to go down, I think it might get a little bit creepy around here. So I've got a bit of a plan for today. I'm gonna make the easiest meal ever, which is my very own lamb stew. Well, I have bought this uh, casserole mix and some uh, already diced lamb. So it's gonna be really easy. And I'm gonna chuck it all in the slow cooker. So then while this is cooking over the next couple of hours, I can do a little bit of exploring and then come back to a nice hot meal. Now, the only thing I would say is this is made probably for a family of four. So I'm not gonna need all that veg. I need to get some Tupperware for the van so that anything that I don't use, I can just put in there. I'm gonna turn this up onto high. Chuck the meat in, cause obviously, you know, lamb stew, that is the most important thing. I have cheated and bought a packet. Like I said, this is going to be the easiest meal I've ever cooked other than when I just heat up a tin of lamb stew. Chuck that in, I'm going to do half of that. And the veg wise, I'm just going to chuck probably half the bag in. There we go, there we go. Give it a bit of a stir. Lid on. I'm gonna to have to just store this in the fridge with no way of keeping the bag together, unless actually, masking tape. Always got a use for masking tape. So I kind of feel like it would be rude not to go for a little wander in the woods while we're here. Get back to nature. How am I going to overcome this? Do some climbing. I mean, it's just padlocked. There's no signs that say keep out. So I'm going in. <coughs> Easy enough. I'm not gonna lie, there is something very nice about a walk in the woods. It really is quite beautiful, just the way that the, the sun's kind of like coming through the trees. This is the end of the track, so it looks like I'm gonna have to go off road. Seems to be a lot of trees down around here and it's definitely 
not from the storms because there's like tree stumps everywhere but even though these ones here look like they were cut down but that one there has been blown over because all the roots are up if it was a windy day today i would be like yeah i'm not going in there the last thing i want is a tree to fall and hit me on the head this was pleasant i think i've exhausted that might head back to the van for a non-alcoholic beer I mean, I crossed the road to come into the woods, so there's always that side that I could always try out later on, maybe, if I get bored. Right, well, Drawn the front curtains because you know if there are any cars that go past. I mean this road is pretty quiet. Since I've been here, I've only seen one car go past, so it's quite quiet. But I've drawn the front curtains. I'm going to leave these open for the time being, just enjoy the view. Um, I think we should probably check on the stew. It's been on for about an hour, so getting there. It's hot anyway. Right. Well, this is normally where I would be cooking dinner. But as it's in the slow cooker, I'm just gonna sit here, enjoy my non-alcoholic beer. Well, enjoy it as much as I can, it having no alcohol in it. And wait for the sun to go down. Tell you what's weird, right? Being outside and then coming back in, the diesel heater really has that sort of rubbery smell again. Like the first time that I fired it up, and I'm wondering if it's because last time I used the van and the diesel heater, I ran out of fuel, so I'm not sure whether that has something to do with it, but it does smell, it's got that weird rubber smell. But, my carbon monoxide alarm is here. It's not gone off, let's just make sure it works. Does it work? <whistles> yep, yeah, it works. Right, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's working. For a minute then, I thought it wasn't working. I mean, it smells nice, but is the veg cooked? I'm gonna try a carrot, a lonely little carrot. That's one hot raw carrot. It's been on for about three hours now. So I guess, a slow cooker is probably not the best thing for a camper van because you know if you're parked up in a place for a long period of time you can pretty much leave it on all day it's been on for three hours and the recipe pretty much says that you know it should be done by about three hours but that's not that doesn't give you the information for it being in a slow cooker so if you're staying somewhere and you haven't got to move slow cookers are fantastic because you can put it on in the morning and then by 
dinner time, you should have a nice stew ready to go. But in this situation, it's 6.30. I'll give it an hour. And if it's not ready, I'll have a pot noodle. Well, whilst I wait for that food to slowly cook away, I think I'd be a bit of a wuss if I don't actually go for a wander in the woods when the sun's down. Might leave the diesel heater on, on really low. It's on the lowest setting at the moment anyway, just so it's nice and warm in the van when we get back. All right. I'm gonna try and not look at you completely because that light I've got shining in my face is very bright. Okay. I am in the woods. There's a lot of like weird nature noises. Oh, I'll tell you what I did bring actually. I've got a little lantern. Let's see if this is any better. Not a huge amount better. I'm not gonna lie, this is uh, a, bit, a little bit freaky. And you'd think the lights would make it better, but it doesn't, it just, what was that? <laughs> Sorry, I got freaked out then. It just makes all eyes be on you. So if there's anything in here, there's only gonna be animals and things, but you just have no idea. Angry badger or something, but it just might jump out on me. But when you've got the light on, and as soon as you look out there, turn your torch off, it is literally pitch black. And something could be behind me right now. And there's no way of me knowing. Oh. But anyway, I'm gonna head back to the van like a coward. Don't wanna fall against one of these branches, would you? Oh. Actually, that's pretty rotten. Probably why they keep falling over. I've never been one to be afraid of the dark, but ever since I was a kid watching the Blair Witch Project, always made the woods at night very scary. Which is weird, because when I was like 16, I used to like go camping in the woods with my mates. We used to pitch tents. But there's a group of you then, and it's not as scary, but, but now, when you're on your own, well, I've got you guys, haven't I? <laughs> One of the good things about this light is um, it is magnetic. So I can just sit there for a the minute. Look at that. Well, it's toasty in here. At least that's the main thing. I mean, I just couldn't wait any longer. There's lots of meat, which is which is a good thing. Okay, so if I'm honest, the tin stuff tastes better. I try to be up market, but I just need to not fix what ain't broken. It's a meal though, and it's hot, so can't complain.
Well, that was lovely, and I now have a uh, a broth for I don't know a drink tomorrow on the drive home. No idea. It's nearly nine o'clock now. I think I'm just going to go to bed. Cozy. All being well, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. A car has just pulled up and it sounds like they're walking around the van. <sighs> so I was just woken up because I could hear, I heard a car pull up and it was it was at the front of the van, so I got up, turned my phone on, and filmed. And as soon as I drew the curtains back, they drove off. They got to the end of the road, turned around, and then came back and parked behind the van. I don't even know like what they just think that there's just some random van parked here that they might be able to break into or I don't know but it's a little bit freaky it makes me kind of like I'm not moving but I don't want somebody breaking in thinking there's no one in here because that would be a right pain hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep What a miserable day. I slept surprisingly well considering after that car pulled up outside and then drove off, I didn't hear anything else for the rest of the night. So from then I actually slept all right. All right, well I think we should at least go outside and see how miserable the weather is. Door's stuck. What the actual see that? I don't, I don't even think I can shut the door now. So when I said I got left alone last night, it doesn't look like I did get left alone, does it? I didn't even hear anyone out on the side door. Right, I've got to work out how to do this. I don't think I've got any pliers. Tell you what, it's a good job. I haven't got a bulkhead. There we go. Oh, it's miserable out here. So here's the, it was obviously just people wanting to f about and just be funny, I guess, but how dangerous is that? Locking someone in their van. 
Let me check the back door. Well, there's nothing on this one because uh, they wouldn't be able to tie it to anything, would they? There's no way they could have done that door anyway. Now this is interesting, I didn't actually notice this at the time, but if you look at that fuel cap there, there's fingerprints. So now I'm wondering, was their intention to steal my diesel? And if so, did they cable tie the doors so that they could make a quick getaway if they got rumbled? But they're obviously not very intelligent thieves because anyone would know on these transit vans, you have to open the passenger door to allow you to actually open the flap to get to the diesel. Oh, they're not easy to cut, are they? Try not to scratch my paint. Well, that's the first time that's happened. What a waste of cable ties. Um, don't really know how I feel about that. Imagine if I still had the bulkhead. I mean, I could, yeah, I could have gone out the back way, so scrap that, it doesn't matter. That's pretty dangerous, right? They don't know that I've got access to the back door. They don't know that I haven't got a bulkhead in the van. I just don't understand why someone would do that. They probably just thought it was funny. Either that or it's some, some local that doesn't want people parking here overnight. I don't know. Still cars going by. Uh, well, that was a bit of a send <laughs> into a what was pretty much a fun night, and uh, my battery's going to run out on this camera. So nice and quick. Thank you so much to everyone that's bought me a beer through the link in the description. You're all legends. Thanks for not forgetting about me, even though I had such a long period of time off. And I'll see you next week. Hopefully, it'll go without any hiccups next week. Cheers! I came here thinking the woods would be the scariest part about this trip, but it's other people that we really should be worried about.